Woo! All right. Yeah. Yeah. We, we did it. We got. We got. We got to. We got to one thousand. That's you know. We did it. We did it. Well, we're a little bit more than one thousand. So I might say I'm a little late. I'm a little late of the whole one thousand party. But hey, having more is definitely better than having less, right? But I gotta think about this for a second. You know, having one thousand people subscribe to you like well m minus or plus or whatever you want to do towards whoever's not actually watching who's like a ghost or whatever you want to call them but either way though a thousand people that's still a lot of people that's still that's that's still four digits that's that's a, that's quite a that's quite a number if you think about it but yeah like what i was going to get to yeah of course i was going to get to the Q Q and a all right, let's go to get started on that. All right, shall we? Why did you start YouTube? Favorite color, favorite movie, pizza or burgers? And where do you see yourself in five years? All right, so why did I start YouTube? I started YouTube because I, I, I would say like a lot of people have this feeling that they just want to have that enjoyment of having other people laugh, enjoying their content or whatever, because I, I, want, I wanted to go ahead and take this YouTube channel into a direction where, uh, similar to some other YouTubers as well, like, take it to go ahead and lead towards helping others as well. But also, of course, for the entertainment value of helping others get through tough times if they're having any troubles in their life. But obviously, it's oh, I want to make it a very sa satisfying channel in the future. Of course, whenever I have more time and uh, more equipment to make things better uh my favorite color green my favorite color is green because i don't know it's the color of trees you know mother nature stuff like that you know but i don't know just green really just stuck out to me i would say more mm, at the moment i would say i'm going for more like a darker green like kind of like the, well kind of light kind of dark kind of like how like my channel profile is that's the kind of green that i like it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty crisp uh Favorite movie? Oh my god, favorite movie. I would say at the top of my head, I would think, yeah, I don't know, like for some reason I thought Braveheart was actually a really good movie with like, with Mel Gibson inside it, but I don't know, like it just, it just really stuck out to me, but other than that, mm, yeah, I would say Braveheart at, at the moment, because I don't know, just like, <gasps> no wait, Fury. Fury with uh, Brad Pitt, that was also a great movie, so I would say between Braveheart and Fury, because those were just very different styles of movie and different like different uh, time periods, but either way, they, oh, they, they really got to me, especially Fury, that it was so dramatic, oh, well to me. Anyways, let's see what else. Pizza or burgers? Pizza or burgers? You know... Oh, man, I'm actually craving some pizza right now, but the thing is, I don't know, burgers, you could just, oof, you know, you could just, some pickles, you could put some, you know, some, some ketchup, you know, of course, with pizza, you could do sausage, pepperoni, you know, mushrooms, peppers, you know, whatever you want. Let's see, ah. I, I would say at the moment, I would probably say pizza. I don't know, because I'm just craving pizza right now, so that's probably why I would crave pizza actually right now. Or that's why I would choose pizza, because I'm craving it actually a lot right now. Alright, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years? Uh, I would see... Uh, I would definitely be in a new... I would be in a different place. I would be living in my... Like, at my, at my own... My own place. And, uh... Still making YouTube videos, probably. Uh, depending on, like... Well, depending on also how my career goes and everything. I would probably make of course definitely make better quality videos but depending on how busy I am I would be able to decide how many videos I would be making that often because yeah I just got a lot of stuff on my plate already and then just like in five years I, I think I think I think I would be able to uh, be very active on YouTube also in my career as well because working a job and then doing YouTube also is gonna be pretty pretty busy but either way five years I would say Huh, five years. Let's see. I think we might have 5,000 subscribers by then, right? Five, maybe 1,000 a year? Oof, that's too much. Maybe, how about 2,500 by five years from now? Maybe, maybe. Because I don't, I don't 
think we'd ever grow that big at all. Not at all. Ever had any paranormal experiences? Paranormal experiences. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I, I don't know if it would be paranormal or if it was just random, but basically in one of my older houses that where I, uh, I live with my family and my sister, like, uh, well, this basically is based with me and my sister. Uh, we were, we, we had dinner, you know, we, we started cleaning up, we put the pots away and everything. The thing is we have this top shelf, this top shelf where we actually put all the pots. So we put, I, I was putting them away and I put it up to the top and the thing is I always slide it back. So just in case like, if anyone opens it, of course, they're like, oh, why'd you push it all the way back there? But the thing is, it's to be safe. It's because I don't want it to fall over. It's because I remember, like, I pushed it all the way to the back. And then eventually we go to bed. You know, it's it's quiet, just a normal night. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm passed out. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm already asleep. You know, I'm, I'm counting sheep. I mean, like 2,000 sheep or something. I don't even know. But I don't know, just randomly in the night, it was so quiet and I don't know why I woke up because I thought I heard something and then right after I woke up I just hear because apparently when I ran out there to see what the heck was going on because I thought someone fell or whatever the pots were all over the floor all the way from the top floor all the way to the floor and the the door with the door is open or like not the door the cabinet was open and no one else was there it was pitch black because like the lights were off and everything so it was like wondering where like why this happened so then my sister came out too and like we were just questioning what happened so maybe that's paranormal i don't know but it was kind of creepy to us even though my parents slept through it because yeah they were upstairs but either way yeah i think that's kind of a paranormal experience what is your favorite game oh my gosh my favorite game starcraft starcraft has been around for so long and it's been a part of my like childhood and everything that I basically, when I was really young, like three, four, or something like that, I always saw my dad playing it. And uh, I was like, oh man, I, I want to play this. Of course, in my head as a young one, I was like, yeah, I want to see this. But I always kept on asking my dad, like, uh, when I was really young, I was like wondering what like some things were saying, because like it was like Protoss, I don't know, like, you know, various weird some, I don't know, some of the words seemed kind of weird to me at the time. So my dad got irritated. He's like, ah, if you want to play, you got to learn how to read and stuff. Because I was like, oh, I don't even remember how young I was. I was really, really young though. And then he was like, all right, you got to learn how to read and then you can play. So I don't know how, but like, I, I learned how to read fluently. I could like read books and everything like in less than six months because I was focused. I was like, oh, I got to play this game. I got to play it. And... Through that, I've been playing the game for 15 years. I have all the original, the original StarCraft, StarCraft Brood War, the expansion pack, and then I also have the three most recent ones because StarCraft has just been around for so long and it's just, it's, I don't know, it just really, it really stuck to me. So I don't know, it's my favorite game so far. Would you rather be stuck for the rest of your life with a sensation that you're about to sneeze but never do, or the sensation of having the itch at the bottom of your foot that you can never scratch? Oh my god, the sensation to sneeze. Man, I don't know, like, as of lately, my sneezes have been, oh, excuse me, but I don't know, like, as of lately, like my sne like my sneezes, man, they've just been quite explosive. So, like, I think it'd be a lot of energy to hold in. Like, ooh, a lot of energy to hold in for myself. So, I don't know. But itching at my bottom foot, like, ooh, ooh, that would just probably drive me a little bit, like, l l little, like, a little crazy. But like, <sighs> I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Gotta. But uh, hmm. I would say, I would say, yeah, I would probably say itch at the bottom of my foot because I don't know like no wait where am I yeah I don't know like I think I would yeah I would think I would take the itch at the bottom of my foot because like just having the the the, the feeling of sneezing oh no, I would just like be like this with my nose the entire time and then people would be like what are you doing are you a bunny or something I'm like yeah man I'm a bunny okay deal with it but if I have my foot I could be like itch my foot every once in a while wait 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 I can't scratch it I can never scratch it oh I've had that before, like, okay, okay, hmm, yeah, I would stick with having a 
scratch on my foot that I, well, itch on my foot that I can't scratch. I'll say with that one. Who do you find to collab with you? Are the they other YouTubers or friends you know? Um, actually a mixture. Cause usually like with YouTubers, like I actually become uh, I befriend them. You know, you play with you got to play with them a little bit. You know, you gotta see if the chemistry's right. You know, you gotta you, you, you know you gotta you gotta put it together. See see what's going on. You gotta see hey we cool we cool and if we're cool then you hey yeah sure. Because the thing is, I don't know, like, if you play with someone random, sometimes it can be a little weird. But either other than that, though, I have played, like, went straight out of the whim and I played with someone, uh, uh, Chris, Chris Kane, like, back a long time ago. Yeah, whenever we first played, like, we barely, like, knew each other. But the thing is, when we played, man, we became the best of friends. Like, I still talk to him today. Like, he, like, uh, we don't talk as much as we used to, but still, he's a, he's a great guy. Anyways, like, yeah, so it depends. It's usually... Mainly friends, even though like I am friends with a lot of the people on YouTube. What has been your most memorable trip slash vacation? Who were you with and where did you go? Uh, I went to, well, uh, I would say at the moment, like I went to uh, Vegas with my family and that was for like a few days or something. We just wanted to get out of town, you know, we're just, vis you know, just we just visited for a few days, you know wanted to go play at the tables or whatever and uh yeah we went to this one show at the night and there was this random time where like you know sometimes they like to interact with the audience you know they'd like to say Bye. i don't know exactly how they would do it but this one particularly like threw out this uh sleeve this little wristband thing and basically if you caught it you were going to be a part of the uh the, what do you call it the the audience interaction and I actually got it and I was like what and there was like thousands of people well, maybe a thousand or something I don't know it was a huge auditorium there's like multiple levels I believe and uh, yeah it was just so cool because like there was all these pyrotechnics and all this cool stuff and like it, 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 it did blow my mind because my dad was like very skeptical because of like because the person like was an illusionist so my dad was always skeptical, I was like, ah, oh, man, it's all fake and everything, like, he always thought it was boring and stuff, but whenever he was there, he was busting out laughing, especially whenever they chose me, where, like, I got, I randomly got thrown the, uh, wristband, and, uh, I don't know, that was just the most memorable part, because, like, I was just, like, like, it wasn't really nerve-wracking, because I used to being in front of, like, a bunch of people, but still, it was, it was fun, it was a really good time, really good experience with my entire family. Go for it, man. What's your favorite top 10 games? I don't know what the, who go for it is, but hey, the top 10, I would say, ooh. Okay, so StarCraft. StarCraft would be definitely be number one, well, would, would be one of them. So I would have StarCraft, like the whole StarCraft franchise. Dota 2, would, ooh, yeah, League of Legends, Dota 2, yeah. I, I don't know, I just like Dota 2 better in a way. I don't know, it's just somehow I like it. Uh, Arma, the Arma series. Arma is a great military simulator game that is just, oh, so good. Uh, I would also say Mountain Blade, the Mountain Blade series, super fun. I can't wait for Bandalore to come out. Oh, that game is looking insane. It's, oh, so good, so good. Uh, another one. Oh, another one, another one. I should have, I should have definitely like thought of this way before. Um, original, the original Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4, back when it's like, yeah, this is the fifth one, I think. Call of Duty 4 was, I don't know, I think one of the best Call of Duties by far, because especially it wasn't even like, Call of Duty wasn't like really overdone at the time, so it had some really good stuff inside it. That's something that me, my brother, and my dad played all together and stuff like that, because it was just so fun. Okay, CSGO. CSGO, of course, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. That's also a great one that I like, because you guys see a lot of that. Um, for the horror genre, I would definitely say Amnesia. Amnesia is great. Like, I would definitely play that. Like, I might... Oof, I can't really say... Too, ne never mind. But yeah, I like Amnesia. Uh, there's some stuff that I've been doing with it, which is really fun. I, I won't talk about it now. Uh, so, that's seven. The, okay, that's the Total War series. The Total War series is also good. The Total War series with all the other the great big battles and everything, and them just clashing together. Like, 
I don't know, just the concept of just having huge armies versus huge armies has just been a really big thing for me. Like, especially RTS games, you know, all those type of games have been really good to me. I just love those a lot. Um, oh, the Metal Gear series as well. Metal Gear, oh, it's been around for so long, but oh, like the, that series though is like, it, it makes you, it, it, like sometimes, like whenever I think about it, it's just like, oh, so good. Like, I, I would definitely recommend it for everyone to play that, especially because it has a great story. Great story. Well, I, I personally find it a great story because it, it might be a little bit science fiction, but the thing is, like, it, it goes around so well that you just, like, oh, you just get into it and you get with the characters and all that good stuff. It's just, I think it's, like, a really great A game. Okay, 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 okay. The tenth one, the tenth one I liked a lot, especially back then, was Warrior King's Battles. It was an old game. Oh, so old. It, it's now on the Steam Store, actually, but the thing is, Warrior King's Battles was this concept between where you, it's like kind of like a huge map, depending on what you want. You had gold, you had stone, you had trees, and also you had the choice to go like Pagan or Renaissance or like basically various sets, and like there was some sci-fi in it as well but I don't know just some part of it I think it was also the big where you can build a big army and send it at each other but I don't know the way that how they fought and everything like that the battles were just so fun because I remember playing this back wow like I don't remember how old it was back then when I first played it on CD and uh, the, the way how they got rid of the bodies which I thought was really cool they would actually have crows fly overhead and then they would swoop down into the field and actually start picking at the bodies and, then, and they would eventually disappear but the thing is that was a cool way especially after you have a huge battle you'd be like oh man that was sick especially especially if you win the battle of course and you would be pushing into the uh, enemy territory and you would just see all these crows just coming in and just like rah, rah, you know of course the crows noise might get annoying for some people but for me i loved it i was like oh yeah you you eat in those bodies eat them all eat all my enemies but you know it, i don't know it's kind of weird but but still, I liked it a lot. What is my favorite video game genre? I would say, ever since the beginning, I would say strategy game, like RTS games, because StarCraft was definitely RTS. And I don't know, just after that, just it stuck. The thing is, CSGO is still a first person shooter, but there's some strategy elements as well as Call of Duty, if you think about it, there is some strategy, where CSGO is more competitive. But I do, like, kind of like Total War, Mountain Blade, uh, Warrior Kings Battles, Rise of Nation, well that's another game that you know, I also play. All those games, like, I just love them because the, the strategy element in those were just to the to the brim, like, especially for me, because, like, they were so fun. I just like big battles and, like, critical thinking with your mind, and like, okay, so how am I going to counter him with this, blah, 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 countering, you know, massing big armies, because I was just a big fan of armies and stuff. Same with, like, the movies. Like Braveheart, The Patriot, uh, Star Wars, the, what do you call it, um, Fury. You know, all those like war genres and stuff, like big battles and everything like that. That's what I was a big fan of. Like, so action for movies, like uh, Fury and those. And then, of course, RTS for gaming. Yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> Hey, Wade Master, do you record with pants on or off? What do you think of about Five Nights at Freddy's? Greetings from Germany, smallest YouTuber. Hello from Germany. Uh, wow. First, I'm gonna say, what do you think about Five Nights at Freddy's? I thought it was a good way to, like, you know, portray like a small little concept of horror and everything like that. It did go well, but the thing is, like, of course, the, he he changed up the ideas and everything like that. But uh, it, it for some reason, like, it's not something you could play repetitively uh, because you do get used to it. So. That's why whenever I play with my friends, we only played it once or twice. Because the thing is, it would eventually, I feel, it would get repetitive. Uh, so, it is a good concept. It had a good story to it. But it's it's not something you could sit and play for a long time. And, do I record with pants on and or off? I would say a little bit of both, but mostly off. Because I'm not wearing any right now, but still, uh, 
let's uh yeah let's keep moving on what software do you use to edit videos i use sony vegas uh preferably i use 2012 because the thing is i've never really had the reason to go ahead and upgrade to additional uh further formats so it's been really good for me hey hello 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 there i think you should you think i should what what inspired you to start youtube i I think what inspired me to do YouTube is the fact that you're able to do with, uh, for the most part, whatever you wish to do. And I thought gaming, of course, as thousands and maybe millions of other people do, is just something that appeals to me. I feel appeals to many of you out there. So I thought, the, what other way to entertain people than with something that enjoys, like you know, entertains me? Especially if I'm down or whatever, and if I wanted to like help do like charity live streams or something gaming is just a really fun way to pass the time and actually get that support and feedback for whatever uh, I feel like doing especially if I'm trying to help out other people if they feel bad or whatever whatever really helps so my inspiration is actually having the ability to want to uh, make people feel better like it's it's the people who are in need that's what inspires me it's like whoever needs help or just wants to pass the time I want to help them of course, I can say, oh, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, you know, these great people, they, they are inspirations as well, but the thing is, it's just like, I have similar interests as they do, is to help other people. Sneeze in my opinion. You're sneezing in your opinion? Well, that's shit. Yeah, yeah, there you go, you sneeze in your opinion. Good job, good job. And the last question, what's two plus two? Oh, hmm. Oh boy, uh, what is two plus two? Ah, uh, ma uh, math. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's four. I think it's four. I don't know. Uh, quote me. I qu don't quote me on that. I think it's four. I think. Could be five. Huh. Probably four. Alright, so that wraps up the 1K Q&A video. Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys have any other questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. I may do a 2K Q&A, but that's oh, super far away. Uh, I don't know if we'll reach that for another three years or something. Because, yeah, I know my recording habits uh, have somewhat been pretty bad. They've been on and off. Uh, sometimes for a few months, sometimes off for a month. But the thing is, I don't know, it's just... I've just been busy with like real life stuff and everything with work and life, life. I've been busy with the world of life. And those of you who understand, who understand, understand, who understand, you understand? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, yeah, yeah, I just hope, you know, I hope you guys stick around. I hope you guys keep enjoying my video content and everything. You know, if, if you do enjoy it, you know, uh, you could share it if you wish, but like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not saying, oh, you have to, but not like, uh, uh, just share it out around if you wish, because the thing is, if you're able to help, like, if, if my videos, or if, like, you feel like it could help other people feel better, or just, like, anything like that, that, like, who, they don't even need to subscribe to me, but, like, if it'll make them laugh or something, sure, show them if you wish, you know, because the thing is, like, of course, subscribers, yes, subscribers, the thing is, is, like, so it could be, you know, updated on when my stuff comes out. But if you just want to just get a funny giggle, you could just go ahead and watch too. Either way, I enjoy making these videos, even though, like, I barely have time to make them. Like this one, I will. Oh, man. I've been recording this for, like, a little bit. But, hey, it probably be up tomorrow. I don't know. But we'll see. All right. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. You have no idea. Because the thing is, I didn't make this possible. You did. Because without you, you guys like have shared, actually you guys have shared my videos, which is quite insane. But without you, none of this would have been possible. And I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. Every one of you. Uh, I'll just go ahead and stop rambling now and I'll let you go on with your day. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!